Hey, straight up BMW. Welcome back today to the continued build of this X63 B44B, serial number 0179. Um, you guys can check out the previous videos of the uh, disassembly of this engine, uh, removal from the X6M. Um, this uh, has a spun rod bearing. You guys can take a look at that. Uh, I believe one of the journals both was uh, spun uh, since then we've had the crankshaft turned down and balanced and that's all ready to go uh, so we're at the point in this engine rebuild of prepping the block for rings um, I'm not gonna go in too much of this type of block. It's an alucil block. Uh, it's got about 17 to 18% uh, silicone content embedded into the casting of the aluminum that allows this block to have a no liner, no steel liners that allows the rings to uh, made directly to the aluminum with silicone. Uh, really it's the silicone particles that allows the ring to glide on, not the aluminum. The so, process is here that we want to hone the block. Uh, this is not a re this is not a rebore. This is not a honing to a bigger size piston. We're going back with factory pistons on here with the factory size. Uh, this engine just had eighty two thousand miles. Uh, so once the bore measures up and uh, falls within the service limits, then that's going to be acceptable. But before, this is not the standard block that you hone. You have to lap this block with a specific type of a silicone compound and a specific process to be able to remove the aluminum from around the silicone particles to expose the silicone particles to be able to expose that silicone particles because they have a specific peak height, RPK. Um, traditionally in the past uh, people have gone with just the RA number uh, which is no longer the case because RA gives you a very high level picture really doesn't tell you a whole lot about you know what is what is the peaks of those silicone particles sticking up do you have enough peaks to sustain a cylinder uh, ring to to be able to glide and maintain to seal and to uh, minimize oil consumption so now what what we have to look at we have to look at the ra which is really not a big component number that we really look at but the two main numbers that we look at we look at the rpk which is the peak height the silicone uh, particles that expose above the height uh, we look at the rk which is the average distance between the rpk and the rvk and then we look at the rvk which is the valley depths the valley depths are very important along R, the R, RVK along with the RK to maintain oil retention. You want to have good oil retention because if you just had a shiny bore like what we have right now, you guys can see this is, I haven't really, this is just cleaned up and you can see down there, you can see where this material is. Down at the bottom is a virgin material which is very shiny. But the top portion is very shiny also. You know, the, the, the streaks that you're seeing here is just where I took a bore gauge and I measured up, uh, get my bore diameters, tapers out of roundness, and so forth. Overall, these bores, they look pretty good. You know, there's not, a, there's not a lot of what's considered bore scoring. I know that term is synonymous with Porsches and so forth, but those, those Porsches run... Uh, combination of alucil, nicosil, and locosil, um, but same same type of uh, same type of where the aluminum, but some of them got a different process of coating versus embeddability. So what we're looking at here, and uh, we're focused on BMW, is that just looking at this block, really, you can't just go put the rings back in because first of all, you don't know. If you've got enough of the exposed silicon above the aluminum to sustain the ring without scoring the aluminum you don't want the 
rings to touch the aluminum. You don't want the piston skirt to touch the aluminum. Everything, the rings you want to ride on the silicone. So you need to have a sustainable amount of height above the aluminum and you have to have a certain amount of aluminum removed from around those particles. So that's the first thing. Uh, to maintain you've got a good piston seal and you're not going to run into scoring and long short-term service life of your engine. The next thing is that we want to have enough valleys, VK and RK, in order to have oil retention and oil sealing. Uh, you want to be able to lubricate the rings, you want to be able to lubricate the bores, you want to have the oil retention in those valleys to keep the oil there. So when that ring come, you've got oil to lubricate. So we're going to be looking at that. So right now, I guarantee you right now from looking at this here, these are not in a position where they're going to seal, nor are they going to prevent bore scoring. Okay. Um, so this is five through six. We're going to be stepping through these and we're going to be going through a honing process. We're going to be checking the surface roughness of the RA, RPK, RVK, RK.